Student sensitivity results back, and here's what they showed. So here are a couple things they said I should stay away from. We have brown rice, lactose, milk, yogurt, cheese. All stuff I have on like a daily basis. Food sensitivities are testing for a specific molecule called an IgG antibody. But unfortunately, this is not a recognized diagnostic tool for food allergies. As a matter of fact, IgG antibodies are actually believed to be a marker of recent exposure and food tolerance to food antigens. Essentially, the reason that some foods are thought to be more allergenic than others is because they contain specific proteins that our immune system is capable of reacting to. But when we form IgG antibodies, this is an indication that our immune system has adapted to not over-respond to this food antigen meaning that we can eat these foods without developing an allergic reaction. And the only accurate diagnostic tool for clinically relevant food allergies are IgE antibodies. Because these molecules mediate an immediate allergic immune response to a specific food antigen. Essentially, the cheap and common blood tests that you will get to measure food sensitivities are simply just going to give you a readout of all the foods that you typically eat. Because your immune system is not going to develop a tolerance to foods that you don't eat, but this is simply an indication that your immune system is able to tolerate these foods without developing an allergic reaction. But to measure clinically relevant food allergies, you would want to look at IgE antibodies, which are typically a little bit more difficult to get your hands on. With that being said, if you would like an individualized approach to nutrition and lifestyle to optimize your health, energy, and body composition, send me a DM to sign up for coaching.